Hey all, this is a follow up to the previous video I posted about how to make and use the equivalent of a string args in C++ um, compared to what the string args actually comes from which is the uh, .NET uh, Java, or Java and C Sharp. Um, so this is going to be just a real quick what you can actually use it for. So not so much a how to as far as a real quick simple what can I do? Um, just in case you're not familiar with the usage or you're just kind of going through and learning new things even though you don't have a practical application for it right at the moment. Um, so it's real simple actually. Um, what we're going to do is just go through more or less where we left off last time where we have our application which we are calling string rs.exe and we can call things that actually make sense. So um, currently it calls the um, 0, 1, and 2 of our array. Um, it's going to um, echo out each one as you can see there just as it goes through. So 0, 1, 2. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make so that we can actually use it. Um, the first thing is we're going to have um, a string that we're going to want to use. So we're going to just call it helper for now. So, and we're going to do just like most command line applications would use where it's string h. Okay. And then what we do is as we loop through with our int i, um, starting at 0, we do argc, which is going to be the total number of arguments passed in, which we had discussed. Um, it's always going to be a minimum of 1, which would be the file name generally. And then as it ends the, or as it ends the, each iteration of the loop, it will increment by one. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move this into the else part of our statement because I don't actually want to see this every time anymore. Okay. And then we're going to make our if. And then what our if is going to do is if helper.compare equals and we're actually going to use current arg just so that we can use a variable that we had already created previously okay. and then what we want to do is we want to write it out so we're going to write out this time um, calling help and then just because it's good practice to always have good look and everything our standard inline and then we'll compile and then let's see what it does oh, we got it backwards so we just have to expand this because we actually have to use this format because it is not Java so now that we've got it all set up correctly there we go calling help on two the other twos are just arguments 